So what can businesses do to help themselves in preparation before somebody comes to fit a smart meter or, or a gas meter or change any sort of meter? Businesses can help us as a gas fitter um, by giving us as much information as possible about the gas meter installation that they've got on, on site. There's a lot of different types of restrictions that we'll get. You, you, you could be working in a confined space. Is, is asbestos on site? Do we need to know if there's any asbestos on site? Are we working at heights? Do we need to be lifting heavy equipment down flights of stairs, for instance? Um, one of the biggest issues that we get with this job is actually the parking. If there's no parking available, then we've got to offload all the equipment and make sure we've got enough men to take the equipment off and drive the vehicle away so that we can carry on and proceed to change the meter without the vehicle on site. How often do you encounter, say, the top two or three problems? So for example, parking, how often does that become a problem? At least five or six out of ten jobs you might have a parking issue. A lot of the jobs that we do are in town centres. They're in town centres where you might get bus lanes uh, that are restricting you actually getting to a job in the first place. It might be a pedestrianised zone that we're only allowed to go down at certain times of the day or even out of working hours. You might get jobs in factories that require you to go at shutdown periods. We need to know if it's a shutdown period that's required uh, so we can visit it on a shutdown period, i.e. maybe at a weekend, late at night when the, all the processes have been shut down. We need to make sure that the client is aware that we'll come in um, and we've got access actually into the premises to change the meter. Sometimes there might be a bit of miscommunication and jobs could have been booked in where the client isn't actually expecting us or they forgot that we're coming and you might not even get access into the property. Quite often you'll, you'll arrive at a job expecting to be able to get in and change the meter and you can't actually get access into the property. One of the other problems that we do have is it, the meter could actually be located and the customer can't always give us this information but the meter could be located in a particular place where we're not allowed to change it due to regulations. For instance it could be sat in a cavity wall um, or there could be issues with the electrical installation that's compromising the gas installation. Things like that, if earth bonding um, cables have been fitted onto the wrong part of the gas meter installation, unless you're a qualified engineer, you're not actually allowed to change the gas meter by removing that electrical earth bonding because a lot of engineers aren't qualified to remove it so therefore we have to put procedures in place to be able to get that earth bonding either removed or replaced into the appropriate position. One of the other problems that we have uh, when we arrive at installations at properties where we're changing a gas meter, it could be a big site, there could be a lot of appliances on site and the people that are on site need to be aware that we're coming so that they can provide such as site technicians that know how to uh, relight things or show us where they are. Some, some jobs you go to, there could be personnel on site that don't even know where the gas meters are, uh, are located. Um, we need to make sure that if it's such as big sites, there is relevant people on site that can help us uh, out with the exchange of the meter uh, and relight appliances and locate appliances and locate literally where the meter is.